Hey boy! What's up everyone? Welcome back to Chato Chato, the number one chat up themed Pokemon card opening and unboxing channel on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't checked out my last video, please go check that out. I opened a bunch of uh, premium Darkness of Blaze blisters and had some bloody good luck if I don't say so myself. But yeah, today, not opening so many cards, but we are opening this Pokemon EVV. Yeah, try saying that one as a tongue twister. Uh, EVV yeah. Full Tin. Um, so this is a new series of Pokemon tins that Pokemon Company brought out. Uh, there's three of them. There's Eevee, which is the one we have today. Uh, you can get a Pikachu one. And uh, Eternatus, which is an interesting choice for the next Let's Go mascot. Um, interested to see what they'll do merch-wise and how they'll scale it down to work in a Let's Go game, but, you know. I'm sure they can work it out somehow. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to crack on and open this tin. Uh, I don't actually know what boosters we're getting this time around. I would assume Darkness of Blades, that's the newest set, but it doesn't always work out like that. So let's crack our open. Ugh. So first off, we have the EVV promo card. Which is very nice. Very pretty. I like that one. It can go in the half art section of my playmat, which hopefully I'll get right this time. <laughs> if you saw the last video, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, please come up. There we go. Just a wee bit of plastic. Uh, that's a UV code card, which I'll be having. Thank you very much. And then we've got some boosters. Let's just pour them out. Oh, four boosters. Not five like those crafty Americans get. Two Darkness of Blade, a Sword and Shield, that's nice, and a Sun and Moon one. So, not an X and Y one, they usually try and par off an X and Y one or a, a Evolutions or something as the last one. But uh, we're getting a Sun and Moon, which is a bit more new. So, hey, I'll take that. We'll start off with the Sun and Moon. see how this one works. Um, I think it's the same as... Yes, it's the same as Sword and Shield. You can have the Sun and Moon code card for all my players of the online out there. And I'm pretty sure it's the same. There we go. Cool. Let's see what we have. We have a Poliwell. Quite nice. A Crushing Hammer. A Toracat. A Rowlet. Very start heavy. A Torkoal. A Zubat having a funny five minutes while that's it there. <laughs> when is Zubat not having a funny five minutes, to be honest? <laughs> uh, we have a Grubbin. A Growl. That is weird art. I don't like that art. <laughs> I've not seen it, but... It doesn't look like it's got a real body. It's like it's some kind of amorphous blob. Oh, Growl does it. better than that. Uh, reverse Hollow is a potion. Quite nice. And on the end... Ah, it's a regular Decidueye. That's the rare for that pool. So, nothing too fancy, but I have actually pulled Decidueye GX. That uh, was a while ago. Cool, we have a Sword and Shield. Now, I'm eager to get this one open because I'm still after that Marnie card. If you saw the last video, you know I'm on a quest to get full art Marnie. Don't care which one I get, as long as I get one of them. Um, so, yeah. Hoping I can get it here. That would be brilliant. So, Fire Energy. We've got Team Yell Grunt. A Drizzile. Galarian Sunfisk. A Rhyhorn. A Rosalia. A Ferrisseed. Crammy. I thought that was Reverse Hollow. The Reverse Hollow on the Dark Texture is really hard to find. Sometimes I'm like, oh. Reverse Hollow is Chew Tool. I don't like Chew Tool. On the end, just a regular Orbeal. Again, nothing to walk home about with that one. Let's see if we can open these Darkness Blaze packs. So, again, if you saw the last video, you'll know. I had some pretty good luck <laughs> the last time. Uh, there you go. Can I have this Darkness Blaze code card? So, um, yeah. Interested to see if we can pull anything here. 
All right, I've got a flappy. And a Rydos, a familiar bell. A Wishy Washy, a Pan Sage. A Taurus, a Diglet. I do like how it's got the um the monument. I can't remember what the actual name is. The other thing in Sword and Shield is by Stone Side. That's it. Good idea. Oh no! <laughs> Why have you shown up again? I'm hoping for your sake we've broken the curse this time round. Okay, we got a hollow arc result. Um, I do have this card already, but we did get a hollow, so... For once, you left me something good, you bastard. I'm putting you on top trouble just for the principle though, because I don't like you very much. Two, three, to the front. I don't think I've ever had in a tin or anything. I don't think I've ever had two like good packs, especially from the same set as peers. So I'll be interesting to see if we have any good on the end. I'm not expecting it. Around it. We for she quants. Ah, reverse hollow little torchic. That's quite nice. Uh, can add that to my <laughs> master set of these clay uh, Yukimori cards. And on the end. Oh, okay. Crobat V. That is pretty nice, and I believe this is a bit of a money card as well, actually. Money, money, um, money. I think the half art version looks better than the full art version. So yeah. Oh, the streak continues, my friends. <laughs> we are still doing pretty well. Now, I could end it there. But we do indeed have some bonus cards. And yes, it's exactly the same as it was last time. <laughs> Because like I said, I'm still after that Marnie. And we had a pretty fortuitous blister last time, so... I'm feeling these these blister packs quite a lot at the moment. It's like, good luck, more Peko. Please bring us the Marnie, more Peko. Uh, and you can have the more Peko promo card if you so wish to have it. Um check on the coin away because who cares? Okay, three sold initial pieces. Let's see what we've got. Come with this AC one first. Do, 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 do. Yeah you can have the first code card. Cause I'm nice like that. Okay. Energy. Oh shit I can put the more peck on hollow I guess. Well, that feels a bit like a cheat. But I put the Eevee there so whatever. Good drizzle. Evolution incense. Of all picks. A mono. A Roselia, a Chew Tool. You're looking like top coverage this time, mate. Don't like you. I've <laughs> uh, got a Reversal of Vitality Band, and on the end, just a regular Lapras. No V or V Max, I'm afraid, but I don't think I have this card, and the art is quite nice actually. It's very, um. I'm not an art critic, so I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> uh, oh, I just realised I put this in the hollow to grab as well. Oh, uh, well, at least I rectified it this time rather than just letting them all sit there. <laughs> cool. This one has VMAX Lapras on the front, so will it have a VMAX Lapras? No, probably not. Because imagine if they all work like that, they'd never sell any boosters. <laughs> Two, three, to the front. You go, Mr. Fighting Energy. Okay, we've got a Pokemon Center Lady, a Sea King, a Hitmonchan, a Cosmi, a Score Bunny, a Silly Cobra, a Yamper, a Grookey. Reverse Hollow is Lumberry, and on the end, oh, okay, got a Hollow Sandaconda. It's quite nice indeed, and I do not have this card, so welcome to the collection, my friend. I did use Sandaconda on my first playthrough of Sword and Shield as well, so. Last pack. What have you got for us? Do, do, 
Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Ooh. Got a potion. Right on. An Eldigos. I think that's quite useful, actually. So. And there's Goss Flood to go with it, alright. <laughs> We've got the other heart, the City Cobra. The other heart, the Yamper as well, I think. Very nice. Ah, reverse all his Bishop. Ah, oh, it's not rare. I thought it might be a rare, but it's just an uncommon. And on the end. Oh, it's this Stonjourner. He popped up last time as well, but he brought his full art <laughs> version friend with him. So, what? why have you come empty handed this time, mate? Explain yourself. But yeah, okay, so that's going to do it for us. We still managed to drag this video out to 11 minutes long, despite having considerably less cards to open this time around. Um, but yeah, I will probably see you guys next with Champion's Path. Um, I do have the Elite Trainer Box pre-ordered, so I opened to open that one. Um, I think they've started cancelling some pre-orders, but I got in very early before they kind of hiked the prices up of a lot of this stuff. So, fingers crossed... It's good folks that Chaos Cards will come through with their pre-order. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe even. <laughs> and I'll chat to you later.